thank you for visiting my YouTube channel to get your daily Bible verse and Bible chapter. I hope you have a great day and come back each and every day for a new verse and a new chapter. Thank you and God bless. Second Kings 18 Hezekiah of Judah In the third years of Hosea, son of El, king of Israel, Hezekiah, son of Ahaz, began his rule over Judah. He was 25 years, years old when he became king and ruled for 29 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Abby, daughter of Zeke. In God's opinion, he was a good king. He kept to the standards of his ancestor David. He got rid of local fertility shrines, smashed the pillock stone monuments and cut down the sex religion. Ash. Grooves. As a final stroke, he pulverized the ancient bronze serpent that Moses had made in the time of the Israelites had taken up practice of sacrificing to it. They ha had even dignified it with a name the old serpent Hezekiah put his whole trust in God of Israel there was no king quite like him either before or after He held fast to God, never loosened his grip, and obeyed to the letter everything God had commanded Moses. And God, for his part, held fast to him through all his adventures. He revolted against the king of Azariah. He refused to serve him one more day, and he drove back the Philistines. Whether in sentry outpost or fortress cities, all the way to Gaza and its borders. In the fourth year of Hezekiah, in the seventeenth year of Hosea, son of El, king of Israel, Shel, king of Azariah, attacked Samaria. He threw a siege around it, and after three years, captured it. It was in the sixth year of Hezekiah in the ninth year of Hosea that Samaria fell to Hazari Azariah. The king of Azariah took Israel into exile and relocated them in Hela. In Gozan on the harbor river and in 
towns of the Maidens. All this happened because they wouldn't listen to the voice of their gods and treated his covenant with careless. contempt. They refused to e either listen or do a word of what Moses, the servant of God, commanded. In the fourteenth year of King he Hezekiah, sin king of Azariah attacked all outlying fortresses, cities of Judah, and captured them. King Hezekiah sent a message to King Hezariah at his headquarters. In Lachish, I have done wrong. I admit it. Pull back your army. I'll pay whatever tribute you sit. The king of Hezariah demanded tribute from Hezekiah, king of Judah, 11 tons of silver and a ton of gold. Hezekiah turned over the gold, the silver he could find in, in the temple of God. And in the palace treasuries, Hezekiah even took down the doors of the temple of God and the doorpost that he had overlaid with gold and gave them to the king of Azariah. So the king of Azariah sent his top three military chiefs with a strong military force to King Hezekiah in, in Jerusalem. When they arrived at Jerusalem, they stopped the aqueduct of the upper pool on the road to the laundry commons. They called loudly for the king. Elkim, son of Helkariah, who was in charge of the palace, Shebana, the royal secretary, and Joah, son of Asapa, the court historian, went out to meet them. The third officer, Rab, was spokesman. He said, Tell Hezekiah the message from the great king, the king of Azariah. You are living in the world of make believe, of Peel's fantasy. Do you think that mere words of any? substitute for military strategy and, and troops. Now that you're revolted against me, who can you expect to help you? You thought Egypt would, but Egypt... Egypt's nothing but a paper trigger. one puff of wind and she collapses. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, is nothing but a puff of and bluster. 
or are you going to tell me we rely on God? But Hezekiah has just eliminated most of the people's access to God by getting rid of the local God's shrines, ordering everyone in Judah and Jerusalem, you must worship at the Jerusalem altar only. So be reasonable. Make a deal with my master, the king of Hazariah. I'll give you a thousand horses if you think you can provide the riders for them. You can't do it. Well then, how do you think you're going to turn back even one row of pri Roebuck private from my master's troops. How long are you going to hold to the fragment, figment of your imagination? These hoped for Egyptian chariots and horses. Do you think I've come up here to destroy this country without the express approval of God? The fact... The fact that is that God especially ordered me attack and destroy this country. Elkham, son of Helkiah, and Sheba, and Joah, is to the Rab. Please speak to us in the. Aramaic language. We understand Aramaic. Don't speak in Hebrew. Everyone crowded in the city wall can hear you. Romans 8.31 What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8.31 What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? One of my favorite verses is Philippians 4.13 And it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you have your own favorite verse, please put that down below and let me know what it is. Thank you and God bless. Thank you for watching today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you can remember to watch each and every day's video. Thank you for the ones that have been with me from the beginning. Please help me expand my ministry. Thank you and God bless.